Yes. Uh, music director. <laughs> Over to you. Happy birthday to you. I am honored to have my own father here. From the very first day, I got a phone call from him because I never knew people like us could have access to him. I never knew that. And then one of the nights, I just returned from the U.S. and I got a phone call. And I'm like, yeah, who is this? And when he mentioned his name, and this is past midnight. And um, that resulted into my wife and I going. The first day we entered daddy's office, something that I lost 1992 was restored, the absence of my father. I wept. My wife is here. I wept. That day. Daddy just kept on talking. I just kept on crying. It wasn't a physical thing. It was spiritual. And from that moment onwards, when you have someone who truly cares about you, when I use the word truly, I mean genuinely cares about you. He will ask me to bring records of our church. What have we done? He was the first person to ever ask me to bring records of the last few years. To show me where is your strength? Where should you focus your attention on? Data-driven decisions. Daddy was the one that started talking to me about that. 2000 and, uh, 2021, we had gone to see Daddy. Normally, we see him three major times in a year. January, when we tell him what we want to do and get the blessing. Middle of the year, we let him know how far we have gone. End of the year, we look back at what we have accomplished and talk about what is to come. In between, there could be some calls here and there that makes us to show up at his office, but these are three major times. And so we were there in 2021, and Apostle Selman, I need to tell you this, and Daddy asked me, he said, what is your plan for 2022? I said, uh, we're planning to build. He said, no. He said, the Lord is telling me that you should buy lands, that there is a grace for buying lands. I, I mean, I, I'm like, so in my mind, I'm like, that's not a problem, because I was already calculating in my mind two plus of land, he said, make sure you buy them in hectares. Now, if you know daddy, daddy will stretch you. And you don't make excuses. So when he said I should buy the land in hectares, and it was just like hectares. One of the lessons I've learned is that when fathers speak, if they tell you to fly, don't ask for wings. If God tells you, be fruitful, don't ask him, how will I do it? He's put a seed in you. So when he said go for hectares, I called one of our elders from Pastor Shun Center, Pastor Degbaro. I said, sir, can you get me lands in hectares? I didn't have an idea because up till that time, we have never done more than plots. And the man said to me, oh, there's this two hectares. I said, how much is it? And he said about 70 something million. I said, what? At that moment, I said to myself, God, is this what hectares look like? But I said, if daddy says, go for land in hectares, they are possible. Ladies and gentlemen, in one year, Pastor Isaiah is here, in that singular year, just by lands in hectares, he spoke and the lead was shattered. <laughs> totally shattered in our lives. In one year, I'm not talking about buying hectares. I'm talking about buying multiple hectares. And not just in one location, we had bought multiple hectares in several locations in the same year. And they were running in hundreds of millions and we bought them with ease. I have never in my life seen such a thing. So, daddy called me, he said, he said, go around. Have you looked around the Goshen here? What, do, is there anything you like? I said, yes, daddy. He said, kneel down. And he prayed one prayer. And he said, father, whatever it is that your son has seen around me that he desires, give it to him. Amen. I won't tell you what he told me today. I will share the testimonies with you. 12 midnight. Daddy was to go and sleep. Sir, so you and I spoke at about 10, 11 in the night. And what we're talking was like, Daddy wants to get some information because Daddy wants to go to sleep. I said, okay, no problem. You tell him this 
give him the information. He said, no, that information is beyond my jurisdiction to give daddy. He said, you have to give it to yourself. He said, so you call daddy. He's about to go to sleep. And then I spoke with daddy and he said, um, this is around past 10 to 11. And daddy said to me, um, I'll call you at 12 o'clock in the night. I'm like, he's supposed to go to sleep. He said, I will call you. He said, I know that you may be tired. I know you've had a busy day. He said, I will call whether you are awake or not. So I sat in one position. <laughs> Your father says he's going to call you. Then you go to sleep. Because he gave you permission to sleep. I sat down and I held my phone in my prayer room. I held the phone in my hand. Sir, I didn't know when I slept off. But God who is so kind to me, my wife came into the prayer room with my daughter singing happy birthday at 12 on the door. And they saw me holding phone in my hand. And barely three minutes later, daddy's call came in. As the call was coming, I just pressed it straight to show him I'm awake. <laughs> And daddy went on and on to pray for me and we talk on other things. And by 4, 5 a.m. in the morning, again, I looked at my phone. It was mommy that was calling. And mommy, listen, mommy prayed some prayer. I knew I could feel the energy of that prayer. She spoke to my roots and said, how about your wife? I said, my wife is downstairs. I'm in the prayer room. She said, you don't worry, I'm calling your wife. And quickly I rushed out, I told my wife, I said, mommy's about calling you. Immediately I was saying that mommy was calling you, mommy was calling her. No matter how gifted you are, may you not get to the day where your own grace can't help you. If it happens, as it always happens, who do you fall back to? Who do you run to? May we not be headless heads. May we not be the ones everybody look up to and we have nobody we look up to. I'm talking to a generation that believes because you have access to internet and everything, Google and all of that, once you can heal the sick, preach, you think you have everything and you need nobody. With all my years in ministry, we could not unlock that possibility of access to lands. 20 years, we could not access that possibility. We've seen little, little favors, but in one year. Daddy called me and he said, look, he says it's dangerous for your church to be in one location. So it's time for you to start centers. What we've not been able to do in 20 years, we are now in five multiple centers. We've bought lands, we've bought lands now in centers we're about to start. We have not even started, but we've already bought lands in those locations. He would tell me, go and walk like you're about to die. And at the end of the year, he will ask me, did you die? <laughs> Daddy, I'm very grateful. Very, very grateful. I will write a book someday about what I have learned. I want to write a book. I wanted to do it for my 50th, but I think I'll leave it for another time. This morning, we are all honored. Um, we have people in the overflows, in the Grace Center. We have people in halls there. I'm really humbled by what God has done in this advance. Please, I don't know what your heart is yearning for. But as daddy comes up, he's a bishop of bishops. You don't need any introduction to him. He is a father of fathers. The first vice president of the Living Faith Church International. Ladies and gentlemen, please make welcome my own father, Bishop David Abioye. Please, let's make him welcome until he gets here.
thank you. Hallelujah. I thought you really meant to clap for Jesus. Make it bigger, bigger, stronger. It's worthy of our praise. Amen. Thank you, Heavenly Father, for this wonderful gathering of your people, your servants, leaders from across the globe to advance 2024, flourishing and thriving in life and in ministry. Father, we thank you. For blessed is the man whom thou choosest. You choose us. Therefore, we are blessed. And the one whom you have caused to approach unto you. We didn't know our way here. You caused us, orchestrated us, guided us to be here. And the evidences are here. The blessings are here. We have already started flourishing and thriving. We give you glory for it. We give you glory for it. In the precious name of Jesus. Thank you for your servant in whose heart you have laid it to put this program in place which has been year in, year out. And with this year most unique, most outstanding. We thank you for your servant, Reverend Sam Oye, and his wife, the leaders. Receive our thanks in the name of Jesus. And for all of your servants you've used to bless the people out of what you've given, they have given out. All who have come since the beginning and ministered and with your servant who just ministered wonderfully, impactfully. Father, receive our thanks. Amen. Receive our thanks. Amen. Receive our thanks. Amen. In the precious name of Jesus. Amen. And now, Lord, send your word again. We know the oil has no limit. We bring out more vessels. Fill up our vessels again. Bless every soul. Enlighten every eye. Break every yoke. Heal every sick. Impart life to all. Let all leave this place fully imparted to the glory and praise of your name. And all the saints of God in the house, join me to shout aloud, thank you, Jesus. If you can, a big hand for the Lord, please. Hallelujah. And before you take your seat, announce to your neighbors, you are bound to flourish and thrive. Tell more people around you, as many as you can. You are bound, you have no choice but to flourish and to thrive. Glory to God forevermore. I thought somebody is clapping by now again. For Jesus, our King and our God. Amen. Please get seated. Somebody shout again, I'm blessed. I'm blessed. Did I hear you well, please? I'm blessed. You are truly blessed. Yeah. I discovered from scriptures the summary of what God gave to man at creation, blessing. And God bless them. When I say to you, you are blessed, it's just beyond the statement. It's catalog and loads that you carry. Some people tell me, I'm sick. I say, you are blessed. Because healing is in blessing. I'm not a rich man. I'm a blessed man. Blessing means the ability to become. whatever you need to be at any time. Blessing means to be empowered to become. Don't look for success. Look for blessing. You are blessed, you are just blessed. And no one can stand against you. Again, Reverend Sam Oye would like to thank God for your life. 
for being a blessing, you and your wife, as remarked earlier, to this generation and the generation to come. We pray that greater grace upon your life, upon your wife, upon the ministry, in the precious name of Jesus. Your program advanced for people's life is a seed. Your destiny will also advance. Particularly on this special occasion of your 50th birthday, we rejoice greatly with you. I have not asked about the ceremony for that in this meeting. Um, have we sang some song for you? Okay, you're not aware. You made them sing it. Oh, so they have sung all the songs. Uh, can we still sing? Yes. Apostle. <laughs> Amen. So, uh, if you are kind enough, please rise to your feet with me. And let's sing another happy birthday. Okay, they're giving you a microphone. Too. I think you are the one to take the lead. <laughs> God is a good God. So join me here. Um, amen. It's good to listen to apostolic voice of singing. Amen. Were you a car member before? I was a music director. You are a music director. You look like one. <laughs> amen. Um, was it a charismatic or Pentecostal or, or Orthodox? Combination. FCS. FCS. <laughs> My God. That's a proper believer. <laughs> okay. Can we request Reverend Sam to please come up and his wife, very dear wife? Amen. Well, today is his day, so we have to honor him. And um, we rejoice greatly that God kept you alive, and not just alive, but well, and uh, reflecting the glory of God. With uh, Sister Mary, the Lord bless you mightily. We love you very dearly, and I believe we are speaking the mind of everybody here. God bless you. Well, let's sing Happy Birthday song to him. So let's go ahead. Yes. Uh, music director. <laughs> Over to you. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday. Happy birthday. Happy birthday to you. One more time. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday. Happy birthday. Happy birthday to you. Woo! Amen. We love you. Amen. How do you score this music director? Amen. He has already scored himself. Do we agree with his score? That was very excellent. And thank you for allowing me to sing along with you. Thank you very much. God bless you. Amen. My wife sends her special greetings, her love, and um, together requested or proposed and make it happen that our two sons should be here to rejoice with you. Amen. God bless you. We love you as a family in Jesus' name. Please get seated, everybody. To God be the glory. I came in here and met the administration or the sharing of the word of one of our wonderful speakers in this advanced 2024 Apostle Joshua Selman. Beautiful word. Great impact. Amen. The joy of older generation is to see new generation walking, performing while they are alive. I'm impressed and I thank God for your life. Please serve your seat. The older generation talks of experience. The new generation talks of 
new knowledge. We thank God for enlightenment that came through you this morning. It's a prayer that you will continue to flourish and thrive. Amen. The assignment in your hand will keep growing. Amen. And the same prayer I pray for all of us who are seated here, you will keep moving forward. Amen. In the precious name of Jesus. Thank you for watching. And if this video has blessed you, please like, kindly subscribe, and also tap on the notification bell so you can stay notified and updated on our new videos. And please do not forget to share the link to people so we can bless more people. And most importantly, we want to know how this video has blessed you under the comment section. Don't forget to subscribe.